Hello guys, it's Haroon. I welcome you to my series on fundamentals of Magento 2 development from scratch. So let's start. Magento 2 is a robust, lengthy and complex product and require many hours of practice and hard work to become proficient in it. There are some prerequisite to start development in Magento. Where you should have working knowledge of PHP, the concept of object-oriented programming like classes, interfaces, objects is also required. You should also have the knowledge of model view controller or MVC design pattern. The knowledge of Zen framework is also good because Magento is developed on Zen framework. So the knowledge is good but not required. So let's jump towards the in installation of Magento 2. Magento 2 requires PHP 5.6 or higher Apache server MySQL uh, text editor which you like and composer. You can get composer from this URL. It is uh, pro it provides a straightforward wizard. You can easily install it. If you want to learn more about composer, you can go through this URL. So I am using Windows 10 with XAMPP. XAMPP as you know is a package of PHP, MySQL and Apache. You can get XAMPP from this URL. Let me you show you guys. Go to this URL and download and install PHP as get this version or this version. So And the next thing is text editor. I am using PHP Strong. You can get Magento from two sources. The first one via Composer. The second one via GitHub. I am get using uh, this one. So let me guys show you how to get it. Just download this uh, zip file from here. You will see I already downloaded it. You will see zip file like this. I move into my stdocs folder of XAMPP and this is the extract version of this package. So I am going to rename it. It will be the name of my Magento 2 project. So uh, the name of will be my project is Mage2. Yeah, okay. So now we uh, I need to install some dependencies. So I install with dependencies with composer. So so open composer here. For this I have to open my command prompt. Click shift and right click open command prompt here and type composer install this will install dependencies which I required so it will take some time so let's wait so after installing some dependencies I try to run my project on browser so I go to my XAMPP control panel start these two services and hit this URL localhost or local IP slash mage 2 
the setup of magento 2 installation is start this is a pretty straightforward setup just click next i have to add a database which name is mage2 so i go to php my admin and create new database mage2 will be the name of my database select create the new database is created with name mage2 and click next mm, the url of my store is mage2 and the url of my admin is after uh, project name slash admin next create new account for example abc at the rate password Please note down your username and password because this is going to be a username and password of your admin panel. Click install now. It will take some time to install. So let's wait. So after installation you will just see this screen like this this is the url of my store this is the url of my admin and this is my username so let's try to open it first time it gonna take some time so let's see So as you can see it is the home page of our store and it is the home page of our admin. As you notice the images is not rendered properly. We are unable to show the images. For this just open your project in editor. I am using PHP Storm. This is project go to in this directory app etc di.xml and in line number 906 change this simp link to copy we will discuss the technical detail of this in upcoming videos let's save and try to run again now as you can see the image is visible that's it for today thanks for watching have a great day.